Hey, hey, hey guys, this is Hawkeye and I am back with another episode of Fishing Planet Classic and we are back here at Weeping Willows Fisheries. Thought I'd go ahead and complete a couple of missions here. Try to get my XP up because I am trying hard to get to level 54 so that I can get to the next fishery and that is at Blue Crab Island. I'm just almost there. I'm about one third of the way to getting it to level up. And I thought one of the best ways to do that is to try to complete some of these missions. Well, I can get lots of XP and lots of cash fishing here, but also with the missions, I've got a couple of them here that will help me out quite a bit. I've got the Weeping Willow Exploration. I only have three species to complete that one, plus I'll get some nice carp hooks. And this Weeping Willow Carp, I only have to get a hybrid F1 carp. That's like no big deal at all, really great spot to catch them and then we'll head over to the other spots to catch the other guys well, let me go ahead and track this mission because we can get that hybrid pretty quick I hope alright now the best place for the hybrid carps right over here I've got it marked and that'll give me I'm not so much worried about the cash I'm more worried about getting that XP and completing missions is always a good thing the more you get them completed, the better off you're going to be. You get free stuff. Don't knock it. Don't ever knock it. But I'm going to see just how busy things are over here because sometimes it gets a little crazy. I saw a lot of people over here fishing for that Carp Colossus. Actually, I think I need to go this way, honestly. But I think things are relatively quiet over here on this side of things. But there's my markers. That's where the F1s have been caught in the past. I don't know how close I am. Uh, i got a little ways to go. Probably ought to get it over to the peak period. But these guys, they go for a lot of different things. Which is kind of helpful. I don't think you're gonna get we're gonna get anything with the carp stuff, but I am gonna try getting them with probably blood worms and I think it's red worms that they go for. I do need to size my hook down a little bit. Probably need to take it down to a two aught. And we will throw something else on there. Red worms, I've caught them with. I've caught them with the blood worms. Actually, I might put a number two on that just to make sure. It just has to be an F1. It doesn't have to be a trophy, it doesn't have to be unique. Just an F1. That's all I need. No biggie. There's some blood worms. We'll see if we can't get these guys. Now this is my fourth rod, so I'm going to toss it right in those spots that I have marked. Oh, damn. I want to put my rod pod down. Definitely would help. My dogs are getting upset. These carp rods aren't really good for catching these guys, but I figured I might as well toss these out and get something big. There's some markers out there in the center. There's a couple of deep, good-sized deep holes. Might be some big old carp out there.
Now it's just a matter of waiting, seeing if everything goes for it. Cloudy here alive, notice that. Married old England. I've heard they get a lot of rain. <laughs> I might throw a couple of red worms on here too, put it down to about 40. See if we can't get get anything by float fishing too. There we go. Let's see what we got here. I'm hoping this is him. Not another perch. I tell you, some of these cloudy days are not the best fishing days. Seems like it's a when you have the peak in the middle of the day, it does a little bit better for these guys. Okay, let's check this one first, because this may be the one we need. Well, the other one quit. And this one's a big one. Really big. Of course, now that one bites. Oh, I'm not so sure this is what we're after. Man, this is a big fish. I think we might have us uh, at least a trophy. So, it's either a leather or a mirror card. Another decent one on that rod. Wow, this is a big fella. Now, yeah, heck, we lost that one. Come on, big guy. Yep, unique leather garp. There you go. Wasn't after him at all, but he's one of the biggest I've caught. Let's see what this one is, and hopefully it'll be something worthwhile. Not just another perch. There it is. Not a bad way to end it. There's our hybrid. All right, that completes the mission, guys. That's one of them, and it gives me a mini spot premium. 5,000 cash and one big coin. And a bunch of XP. Well, that means we need to move on to our next stage of this. Alright guys, we are now needing to head to Bridges Lake and this particular location here there's quite a few species particularly under the bridge. Now 
to get there we gotta head this direction just past the sign as you saw it is a little bit of a walk but once we get to the bridge we wanna get to the base of the bridge there should be a little platform here that we can put our rod pod out on okay right here now we need to place our lines sort of in this area here it's not very deep doesn't matter but the bream are definitely here let me get this pull back a little bit uh... yeah why is it not placing yeah, I need to move it forward in time anyway Bream seem to bite best at night let's try it again okay now Bream go for a completely different type of bait so a number of things they go for. They go for sweet peas and semolina balls, as you can see, blood worms, maggots, red worms. But the peas, that's important. We can always use peas even on carp rods, which means now these carp rods are going to be more effective. I'm going to try sweet peas on here. Now that hook is way too big. Alright guys, I've already got it geared up. Basically put smaller carp hooks, put peas on everything. Peas and sweet peas and semolina balls. The hooks I try to keep between about a number two and a one knot. I don't try to go any bigger. Two watt if I'm wanting to get something like a unique bream, but I'm not in this case. I just need a bream. That's all the mission calls for. We'll go ahead and get all these set out. Get a nice spread. Alright. We've got a buy here, and I think... Yep, it is our bream. It didn't take too long. Didn't take long at all, but yeah, he's perfect, but common size, nothing special. So now we need to move on to the next area. All right, guys, we're going to the next leg of this. We're going after the common chub over here at Willow Lake. I've already got myself at the proper location. And once I get my rod pod set down, I will go ahead and show you on the map exactly where it is. It's the same place I've been fishing at before, so it's not like really changed much. I'm just at a different position on the other side of the lake. But anyway, we're right here, at the bottom part of this, in front of this big deep hole. And the chubs seem to be down in the hole, along with just about every other species, it seems like. But we need to cast these two rods. The only bait that I have that they do go after are uh, crickets and uh, small minnows. But they also go for grasshoppers and caster maggots and quite a few other things. I just don't happen to have any with me at the time, so... Anyway, we're going to set that out and wait it out and see what happens. I'm just going to throw these out too. Well, we've been waiting a little while. Okay, it looks like we got something on the carp rod. And we've gotten a couple of common carp and so far, but whatever this is, good size, that's for darn sure. 
Might have us a trophy here. Ah, oh, great. I hate when I get one on each one. <laughs> Especially this, because this might be the one we're after. Yeah, it is. There it is. There's our chub. So that's another portion of the mission. That just leaves the Northern Pike. And I will tell you, the Northern Pike is the hardest one to find here. I've only caught one since I've been been at this lake. Only one, and I caught it in the river. I don't know if there are just not many of them, or if I'm just fishing at the wrong times. It's definitely not anything like it is over at St. Croix or anything like that. This is a big fish. I think we might have us a, another leather carp here. And he's at least a trophy. Damn it, I'm going to lose that one too. This one is... Yeah, this has got to be unique. This is a really heavy-duty carp rod. He just keeps taking you back out to the 60-foot range. Well, I lost that one. I was really hoping to get that both, but I have a feeling that this guy's gonna make up for it. Damn! Yeah, this is definitely a, a unique. I'm sorry. Yeah, you get a lot of uniques here. Uniques are pretty common. That's why you can get so dag on much cash. All right, and yes, it is unique leather carp, big old fella, fifty-one pounds. That was bigger than the last one. Now well, we're gonna go ahead and move on to the next leg here, guys. I need to get over on the other side of things. Yeah, we need to move over on this side. Now, I did try messing around on the river to see if I could get some northern pike before I logged back on here again, and I wasn't catching anything. I mean, nothing. <laughs> I mean, not even, you know, a perch. I don't know what's up with that particular waterway here, but it has not been very productive. But anyway, this is where we need to cast, right in this hole here. And I'm going strictly by what some of my viewers have said, that there are some here. And I don't know if that's true, and I'm sure it probably is, or if it's maybe they are and are just a, kind of random, but it, Honestly, it seems like the Northern Pike are kind of random. I have tried the river, and I've tried over there by the administrative building, which is supposed to be another good spot, and just can't seem to get a single one. But we're going to try this here. I've been told this is actually better. We're just going to check this out and see if it is. Now I'm using three eye hooks and shiners for the bottom rods and I might be going back and forth between float fishing and lure fishing. Kind of spread this out a little bit, especially these carp rods. Now, I might get Wells Catfish off those shiners. That's always a possibility, so we'll see what happens, guys.
not getting anything off this. I mean, I've been lure fishing now for about 20 minutes. I picked up a few common carp and mirror carp, but carp rods are doing great. <laughs> what they usually do, though. It's just a darn northern pike are very elusive here. It's really strange. Get them everywhere else just fine. Hey, if you guys know of a better spot, let me know. But this looks like it's a pretty decent fish, too. Oh, it's a grass carp. Trophy grass carp. Not bad. Not bad at all. Well, at least I'm getting cash, so... Because it is expensive to license here. And the travel. We'll keep at this again. This shad might just catch him. Ugh, not even the crankbaits are getting him. It's really... S okay, that could be one of what we want. No, it's too big. It's too big. Yeah, I think we got us got us a wells. Yeah, the only thing that's gonna bite off these shiners is gonna be wells, catfish, and northern pike. But it seems to be a lot more wells, catfish than our northern pike. Decent fish, man. Look at him. Holy crap, it's a unique. 49, 45, 60 pounds. Yeah, it's the biggest fish I've caught here other than the Colossus. Nice. Now there's a fish, guys. I've been trying to catch the unique here, the unique wells, but I haven't haven't been able to get him until now. I don't know. I've been at this for a while trying to get that darn northern pike. I swear to God, I may have to come back and try that again at a later time, but we're already 20-something minutes into this recording. I, well, more than that, I'm guessing around that of usable footage. But yeah, that's a decent picture there, guys. Check him out. Very nice fish. Not the biggest I've ever got, but the biggest I've gotten here. Well, guys, I'm not sure. I think we're going to have to call this an episode here. I'm afraid I got way too much footage here. Well, we'll, we'll give it another try later on. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe, as I always say. And always remember, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. We'll be back to do this again. Hopefully, I can get enough cash. And enough XP that we can move on to Blue Crab Island. That's what I want to do, guys. But always, guys, bye-bye. See you later.